Hello class, my name is Michael Elms and I'll be your instructor for Online Math 145. The purpose of this video is to help you get started and show you a few tips and pointers and guidelines to help ensure your success in this course. So the first thing I think we should do would be go to the Brookdale website, that's www.brookdalecc.edu, that's the home page. By the way, that's me, this is a picture of me, look at that. Okay, anyway, once you get to the Brookdale homepage, uh, click My Brookdale, look for the Canvas button, and then enter your credentials. Okay, so I've typed in my username and password. I log in, and I'm going to look for our class. So under Courses, you might have an English course, a history course, uh, our course is the Math 145, so I'll select Math 145, and we are into our shell, uh, right? Your instructor is Michael Elms, that's me, and then down here it says, uh, all the information pertaining to this course can be found under the Modules tab. So if I click Modules, you'll see we have a lot of information here. I'm going to just click these arrows so I can maybe show you more on one screen. Right, you'll see our uh, class schedule, syllabus, uh, paper homework, summaries, unit one, two, etc. A lot of information here. Um, so if I click on the class schedules, typically the first day of class uh, in a face-to-face -face course, I would hand out this class schedule. Now, depending on your browser, your schedule may appear here, or you could actually click this little link. See, this link is active. And you'll notice it will actually download on the bottom left-hand side of your computer. You'll see a file that you can click, and it will open up a new tab. And, and this is a downloadable, printable PDF. Okay. So I just wanted to go over a few things. Um, this course is Math 145 DE01D. Um, and, you know, every semester I teach it, the, the course will change a little bit, or the document will change. Um, I have office hours. Uh, you notice online office hours to be determined. Uh, at some point, I'd like to take a poll to see what works best for you. And I'll offer an hour every week online where I'll just sit at my computer and answer questions. Uh, for those of you that can come to campus, uh, you can come during these hours and I can meet with you face to face as well. Uh, however, this is an online course, so there's no requirement to come on campus uh, to meet with me. Uh, if you'll notice, I have dates here. These are really just guidelines, right? Because this course is, is online. Um, you know, I, I really want you to finish, uh, I guess, two classes each week, but it doesn't have to be on the 19th exactly or the 24th exactly. Um, I'll post in the announcement section of Canvas when I'd like you to have these first two assignments done and then the next two. Generally, we work two assignments at a time um, because a traditional face-to-face -face course, we would meet twice a week. So online, I'd like you to cover two sections per week. Okay, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, you'll see the test dates. Again, these tests, it's not gonna actually happen exactly on the 14th. You'll take test one the week of the 14th or test two the week of the 28th. Um, and you're gonna take that at the testing center. And again, as we get closer to these dates, uh, I will tell you where and uh, when you can uh, schedule your tests. Okay, uh, and then the second page just has some office procedures. I'll drop your lowest four quiz grades, your lowest three lab grades, and so on. And then most important, the makeup of your grade, right? There's three tests that will count for 75% of your final grade. And then all of the other activities will account for 5% of your final grade. Okay, um, you're going to notice there's something down here that says Math Excel Homework, and uh, there's quizzes. So I think we should talk quickly about Math Excel. If you go back to your browser and type in www.mathexcel.com, right? There's mathexcel.com. I press enter. This is the online homework uh, solution for for folks that take courses online. So let me just enter my credentials. Uh, as you're entering Math Excel, you know, make sure you turn off any pop-up blockers that you might have. Um, if you click on the Homework and Test Manager, 
you will see this is the homework, okay? So your first homework will be this section 1.2, 1.3. Uh, I'll just preview it, but for you guys, you would actually um, enter in there and, and, and do problems. And you'll notice this particular assignment has 16 questions. And what's nice about it is if you have trouble with a particular problem, many of the problems have question help. Help me solve this problem, show me an animation, where in the textbook can I find this problem? Um, there's different buttons you can press to get guidance for problems as you get stuck. Okay. Oop, let's close that. Uh, if you scroll down, you'll see quizzes. All right. Uh, I am going to essentially take your best six quizzes. Uh, so four of your quiz grades will be dropped. And many of these quizzes you can attempt two or three times. Same with the homework. Uh, most of the homework you can take three, four, five, six, seven times. Uh, the homework's not meant to be punitive. It's really meant to just help you uh, prepare for the exams. Okay, we'll talk a little more about Math Excel as, as we progress. All right, so let's go back to Canvas. Uh, again, I'm going to press Modules. All right, so the class schedule is here. You've seen that. Student registration. This tells you how to register for Math Excel. Again, if this window does not um, open up, you can just click the hyperlink here and a file will open up in the down, bottom left hand of your uh, screen and you can open that file to see this document. Uh, the, the biggest thing is this is your course ID and then these are the instructions to register into Math Excel. Okay, I go back. Uh, a little information about the math lab, the course syllabus. Uh, you'll notice here there's optional paper homework. Uh, I put that in here for folks if they want more practice outside of Math Excel. Um, there are some homework problems that correspond to problems in your book. So, for example, if you're going to do activity 1.2, that's pages 6 through 14, you can answer these questions. Exercises uh, 7 through 9, all on page 13 and 14. And the nice thing about this, right, you see all the lessons, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, all the way at the bottom, you have the answers to these problems. Okay, so this is just extra practice for you um, to get started. Again, this is optional, but it's not a bad idea to, to complete these problems. Of course, the math Excel would be your first choice for homework, and then this would be just extra. Um, I want you to note that we have summaries. So for each week where we complete problems, uh, for example, activity 1.2, 1.3, we've summarized the activity. And these summaries are in your textbook, but the answers are not in your textbook. So we've taken the liberty of actually filling in the answers uh, to these activities. OK, so the answers are here. All right, so before you move on from section to section, maybe it's a good idea to review the summary uh, and, and let the summary summarize what you've worked on to see if uh, you need more help or you can indeed move on. Next, unit one. These unit folders are really where all of the action is going to happen. Um, most likely unit two and three will not be available to you until you complete unit one uh, and so on. Uh, so I'm going to pause here and in my next video, I'll show you how to really make use of this unit folders and other resources, okay?